Hello, my name is Helen Nalara. I live in Anaruku, on Groot Island. I am an Aboriginal health worker. The idea of having her own career started when Helen was a young mother visiting the clinic with her children. She was encouraged to take up a qualification by a nurse who recognised her interest in health and urged her to take up training. My first qualification was um, when I did a degree on bachelor, who did a study, bachelor college in Darwin, sort of like an Aboriginal institute that Aboriginal people go to when they do their courses, and that was a big achievement. And when I got my certificate for the first time, my health worker certificate, is, yeah, I was really proud of myself. And I said, if I can do this, anybody can do it, you know? Helen Lalara is one of two senior Aboriginal health workers at the Anorugu Health Clinic on Groot Island. She works in a team with other Aboriginal health workers, such as Gloria O'Hare, community workers and medical staff. I have two senior Aboriginal health workers, um, Helen Lalara and Gloria O'Hare, and they are very senior members of our team and they provide um, high quality clinical care. Um, they uh, represent us very well when they go to Darwin for courses. They bring a mix of knowledge and skills to our team and they work as um, as the people that liaise between the health centre team and staff and the community uh, and they work collaboratively with uh, both of those areas. Every morning to a schedule, the community service and health workers go out to collect patients on the clinic's recall list so that medical staff can follow up on chronic and acute illnesses. A um, wide variety of illnesses like that you'd find in Aboriginal communities like ear infections, diarrhoea, and a lot of coughs and flus. You get a lot of um, heart disease, renal disease, and diabetes in our community, and a lot of asthma. Career success hasn't been easy for Helen. The demands of a busy career and young family took their toll. Back in the early 90s, after her first year of work as an Aboriginal health worker, Helen left her job to work in a shop for several years, but was drawn back to the world of health because of her passion for helping her community. What makes my day is um, I like working, I like coming to work, I enjoy what I do, and I like helping the sick and the elderly people, the children, and that's what makes my day. Helen and Gloria both have uh, a particular interest in women's health, um, but they are very capable right across the board. They provide strong cultural guidance to me uh, with the management of the clinic. Yeah, so, can I take them down temperature at the cabinet? Come up there, Nah. Yeah, come up there, People get sometimes when the doctors put them on different medications and if they're on one particular medications and they see a different tablet they'll usually come up and ask the health workers or, and will explain them what the tablet is about and or we'll just get the nurse or the doctor to explain them and we'll sit in them in the treatment room or the doctor's room with them with the patient and if they don't understand English, so we'll be their translator and we'll explain to them what the tablet is, is about. It's important that we take guidance from our Indigenous staff, that we take guidance from our community and that we never presume that it's okay because there are some very definite cultural boundaries that we need to be respectful of. In amongst that mix also with our Indigenous staff seeing clients, sometimes there's, there's respect required within family groups. Sometimes it might not be a gender issue, it may be a, a moiety issue or a, um, 
or uh, if there may be somebody that say Helen can't see because they're a poison cousin whereas Gloria might be able to see them so those sorts of cultural issues we can only be guided by our indigenous stuff because they're so complex that I wouldn't ever Im try to imagine that I have it right because the minute you do that you've got it wrong. This is the second time she came so um, I asked her to... Times have changed since Helen started her career as a health worker and so have community attitudes which Helen now feels are a lot more supportive of women working for their living. I think Back then, like, it was like we didn't have any support, much support from the community. And like when we used to work in the clinic, we had no help. Like the nurses were busy and like we had help from the nurses, but it was quite hard for us. And like going away on studies, I had young children myself. My kids were only young then and I found that difficult, but but if you get, um, if you want that thing to happen, you have to make it happen by doing it, you know. And I've struggled in my life. I really wanted to work to support my family and my kids. And today, like, um, here I am now, like, you know, I look back and I look back and see I, I have achieved that role, you know. Mm, and um, I am a role model to young people in my community and I hope they see me as that.